hello guys welcome to my channel my name is joy and this is jay flair if you're new here please consider subscribing and thank you so much to all my existing subscribers i really appreciate you guys thank you for helping me grow so today's video is going to be about making this beautiful maxi shift dress with ruffles as you can see in the picture um there are ruffles on the sleeve and uh, that's around the shoulder area the armhole area and the neckline so we're going to be cutting and sewing i'm using my darkless bodies if you do not know how to draft a darkless bodies pattern please check in the i already have a video on how to draft a darkless bodies pattern so you can download it and learn it so this is my darkless bodies pattern the tools i'll be using are my pattern master my ruler my very long ruler since i'm making a very long maxi dress i think i'll be needing that my measuring tape my cutting scissors fabric scissors my chalk for marking and the fabrics i'll be using are the ankara this is ankara this ankara will be for the down part from the knee area down i'll be using the ankara this is um exactly two yards of ankara fabric and this is duchess this is duchess duchess satin this is um about three yards almost three yards so um that will be enough now the technique i'll be using to make this dress is the slash and spread technique so let's go straight into the video the first thing i'll be doing is to Now my, my pattern is a dress pattern, meaning that it's from the shoulder all the way to the knee line. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw a line from this part here. This is my knee all the way to the bust line. Um, I'll do some measure. I'll just measure, let's say, okay. I'll just divide this part into two. There is really no measurement of this. Just divide the end line into two. Or just anywhere on the end line. Just mark. Then connect. Connect to your bust line. Now you can decide to connect this line to your waist or even to your shoulder. There is no particular um there's no particular place to stop. Like the reason why I'm connecting mine to, to the bust line here is because I want this upper part to be fitted because I'm going to do slash and spread. So by the time I spread, this down part that's from this bust now, this bust line down is going to be free. But this upper part will still retain its initial fitness. Still a little bit fitted. This is a darkless body, so it's not like it's so fitted, but it will be free. It will be that free. So this is the line from my bust line here to the knee. So the next thing I'll do is to cut it open. Just watch, watch what I'll be doing. I'll cut open all the way to the bust line. So when I get here, I want the spread is not opening. So what I do, what I will do is to take it to the side stop at the side don't open it up just stop at the side okay so i can spread now as you can see i can spread so this is what i i'll be using or placing this on my fabric remember this pattern is going to be used to cut the front and the back together after which i'll get the the front neck this is the back neck I'll get the front leg and cut out the front arm hole. So I'll be folding my fabric into four. I fold my fabric along the selvage. This will be for the front and this will be for the back. So I already placed my pattern on the fabric. I pinned it down, but I left this part free so I can determine how much spread that I want, how much spread I want. 
okay so remember this was how the pattern was this was how the pattern was but now it is open but before i determine how much spread i want i'm going to mark the the length of this upper part of the dress we are making the length is um the shoulder to knee measurement that i'll be using is um 41 41 so i'll just um extend i'll extend i'll extend this to 41 inches mm? Okay, so I'll just extend this to 41 inches. That will be my full length for the upper part of this dress. So this is 41 here. I'll mark it out. Okay. Um, I'll also... I'll add a um, half inch allowance for joining to the down part of the dress. So I'll just add half inch. Half inch for joining to the down part. Okay, so I'll cut it out so that I can work with the upper part. Okay, so this is what I have left. So I'll just decide how much spread I want. Um, let's see. Should I get to the end? No, that's too much. Um, okay. I think this should be enough. This is enough spread for me. I'll just pin it down. Since this is. I think this is fine. I'll pin it down. Okay. Then I'll extend this part. I'll extend this part down to the end of the fabric. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is is to add my seam allowance. I'll just add my seam allowance. Um, I'll also add ease allowance because it's a free dress, so you should have enough allowance. I'll just extend my waist out like this, my hip. Where is the heat line? Okay. I'll extend it out so I can easily fix my seam allowance and ease allowance. So my seam allowance is actually one inch plus ease allowance of um, two. Two is okay. So that's three. So I'll just add three here too. Three inches. But around this part, this up, um, bust area, I'll just do. Um, I'll just do two. I don't want it to be free. So if I sew one inch, I'll have one inch left. Then I'll connect. I'll connect to this um, to the waistline like this. 
and then to the hip. Just a slight curl. Oh, oh. Let me just make it free now. It's a free dress, so there's no need for any curl around here. I have three here. Okay. I'll just connect with a straight line. With a straight line. Okay. Okay. So I'll add my seam allowance to the neck and the ankle. Remember, it's usually half inch, half inch on the neck, half inch on the shoulder seam, half inch on the armhole. Okay, I think I'm done. Just to connect all the lines. Mm, this part is looking a bit a bit tricky, but I'll just curve it. Let me say I go up by I'll go up by one inch here so that I won't have any sharp in it. Then connect with the curve. Connect with the code like this. Okay. So the next thing is to cut. Cut, cut, cut. Okay. There's a little shortage here. The seam allowance is not is not up to three inches, but no problem. I'll, I'll walk my way around it. Okay, please don't make that mistake when you're making yours. There are other methods, or other ways of cutting, of cutting um this kind of dress. But this one is, is quite easy. It's quite easy. So I'm going to make a little opening for the back so that you can easily wear it. Since the neck, the, the front neck is quite high. I'll make a little opening at the back. Fix, fix my hook and eye there. The middle button. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Yeah. It has enough spread. I like it. The spread is good. I like it like this. Okay, so I'll set this aside. Okay, let's work on the front first before. There's really nothing I'm doing at the front. Let me just cut my, my facing. Do I need a facing? No, I don't need a facing. Okay, I'll just set this aside. I don't have any other thing to do on this part. So, let's work on the down part. This is... um. Two years of Ankara fabric. All that I'm going to do here is um, the full length of this dress is um, the full length is 62. 62. And the upper part has already taken 41. So 62 minus 41 is um, 21. So what I'm going to cut out is 21 inches. Let's cut out 22. 
so that I can have half inch at the top for joining and half inch at the bottom for joining. So I have half, half inch seam allowance. So I'll mark 22 inches and divide the fabric into two. 22. Okay, what I have here is um what I have here is 22 three quarter. So I'll just leave it, I'll just divide the fabric into two. I think that's that's enough. That's okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll just divide this fabric into two. Two. And that's all. That's all for this part. That's all. So, what I'll be doing is to gather this part hmm? to the upper part. That's all about this. So, let me cut out the strips I'll be using for my rough wools. The strip I'll be using for my rough wools. Okay. So, to do that, I'll just measure. I'll measure my arm or whatever I have. I can decide to double it or triple it. De depending on how much spread I want. Hmm? So let's see what I have here. Let's see what I have here. I have 11 inches, 11 times, times um, two. That's um, 22. So the arm hole is 22 inches. So let's let's um, multiply by three. Twenty-two times three, or even four. Hmm. Well, let me work with what I have. My fabric will, will actually determine what I will cut. Okay. I think I have enough. So the height of the ruffle is going to be two inches. So if it is two inches, that's, I'm working on the slip part. If it is two inches, meaning that I need to cut out five, five, because it's going to be on fold. So when I fold, I'll have my two inches at the front, two inches at the back, then one inch for joining. I hope you get. You get me? If you have any question, Drop it in the comment section. I'll be there to answer all your questions. All your questions. Okay, so this is five. Let me even measure just to be sure that I'm on track. Hmm? Our arm hole is 22 inches. How much fabric do I have here? I have 25. 25, that's um, 50. 50, will it be enough? Okay. Is not bad. That's times two. Okay, times two times two is forty-four. Just have a little more. I think this will be fine. Hmm? So, what's that about the ruffles on the sleeve? Now, I'll also there is also a ruffle at the neckline. But before I, if I cut that one, I will. I'll just need to mark out my front neckline. To do that, I'll just remove the back, remove the back, and go down by um, another two inches. Remember, we went down by one for the back. So if I go down by two, that's three inches already. Okay. Just use my free hand to mark it out. Okay, so this is my front neckline right now. Okay, so what I will do is to to measure the front and the back neckline so that I will know how much fabric. The front is five and a half. Five and a half times two, actually. That's um, 11. 
and the back is and the back is um three and a half that's seven eleven plus seven eighteen inches so i'll just multiply by two oh let me just use what i have here um the ruffle on the neckline is not as high as the one on the arm hole, so that you not choke mm -hmm. don't want you to choke so i'll just do one inch one inch on fold that's two plus one inch seam allowance uh, plus uh, yeah three inches is fine okay so i'll just cut this out okay i'm done so this is a ruffle for the sleeve and this is the one for for the neck so i'm done with the cutting this is the piece for the neck and this is the one for the sleeve this is the bottom part of the dress and this is the upper part so let's go into the sewing part. the first thing i'll do is to join the front and the back right sides facing each other i'll join them along the shoulder seam the shoulder seam along the shoulder seam then i'll slit open the back to like um i think five inches should be fine five inches mm? then i'll use my bias tape to turn the back i've joined the front and the back together and i've used the bias tape to turn the neck these are the ruffles i ended up not adding interfacing because it looks good like this this is the one for the sleeve and this is one for the neck. I've pleated all of them. And this is the down part. I've drawn the girders already. So the next thing I'll do is to join the sides. To join the sides of the of the dress, the top part of the dress. Using my one inch seam allowance that I left. So this is it. I'll join it with one inch, with a one inch seam allowance down all the way, the two sides. Okay, so I've joined the sides, the two sides. Next thing I'll do is to take take everything to the ironing table. And give it a very good press open up the seams iron the ruffles make it flat and then the last thing I'll do is to join I'll join this um the down parts the gathered down parts to the M of the top as this this part I'll join this one to this mm, to form the complete dress and then the ruffles i'll attach the ruffles to the sleeve okay then the neck i'll also finish the neck and then bring it for you to see what the finished look is like yeah this is the final result of the dress it looks so beautiful um maybe next time i would use like three yards for the m line for the down part uh, it's against the two years that I used because it's not giving me the kind of fullness I like a lot of spread so thank you so much for watching till the end do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel that really helps thank you so much to all my existing subscribers I really appreciate you guys if you have any question please drop it in the comment section where I'll be there to 
answer all your questions okay this is what the back looks like it's such a beautiful shaped maxi dress so try it and um, let me know the outcome in the comment section have a lovely day bye